And we are back with another busy day at the Olympics, but it comes after a heartbreaking but not total loss for USA women's hockey. Yeah, down but not out. Never out. As soon to be retired, Olympian is hoping for one more gold medal before he packs it in. Tending your sides, my Lena Valoris is live in Beijing. Hey, Lena, let's get to it. We've got a lot to talk about with you today. So we're going to start with that loss by the U.S. women's hockey team. Oh, hated to see it, but what's next for them? Hey, Anita. Hey, Tom. So great to chat with you guys. Yeah, you never want to see your team lose, especially to one of their biggest rivals, if not their biggest rival. But hey, it happens. Team USA losing 4-2 to two to Canada in hockey. It was just pool play. So that's the good part about this. They will still continue on. They're going on to the quarterfinals, and that is where they will play the Czech Republic. It was a solid showing by Team USA. They had more shots on goal, but unfortunately, more of Canada's went into the net. So Team USA down by two against Canada. Canada, but we're still expecting them to go on to that gold medal match and play Canada again. Now, back in 2018, this actually a similar story played out. U.S. lost to Canada in one of these pool play matches and then went on to win for the gold medal. So, history could be repeating itself. We don't know, but I, I don't think we should count, uh, do not count U.S. women's hockey out by any means right now. No, never count them out. Also, a couple of big names, Chloe Kim and the ageless flying tomato himself, Sean White, making their first <laughs> appearances in Beijing in the half pipe. Tell us about that. Tom, he really is ageless. Like, I just yeah. don't understand how he does it. But it's going to be so exciting to see Sean White and Chloe Kim get out there here in Beijing. Everyone just loves seeing what they're able to do on the half pipe. You mentioned Sean White, the flying red tomato. This is his fifth Olympics, his last Olympics. He is a three time gold medalist in the half pipe. If he gets that fourth gold medal, he would be the first person in the world to have four gold medals in one single event in the Winter Olympics. Huge legacy on the line there. For him, but you know, he's got an incredible legacy no matter what happens here in Beijing. And then he got Chloe Kim. She's on the other end of the age spectrum, only 21. She was 17 back in 2018 when she won her first gold medal in the half pipe as well. So she's coming back for another chance. If she wins gold, she would be the first woman to do that, to have two consecutive gold medals in the half pipe. So both riding a, a big legacy opportunities there, but it's just going to be the qualifying rounds tonight, expecting them to do well, but then expecting to see them. On our screens again. So it's going to be great to see them, Tom and Anita. I always am just baffled by what they're able to do yeah. flipping and flying through the air. It just blows my mind. Incredible. All right. Thank you. My Lena Belores reporting live from Beijing. A reminder that Lena will be back with us tonight at 7 30 for the edition of the Olympic Zone. See the snowboarding trick that could be a gold medal game changer, followed by primetime coverage in NBC Sports.